Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. As most of you know, I haven't been posting monthly book hauls and that is because I usually don't get a lot of books within one month, but I have been accumulating books since my last summer book haul. So I'm going to go ahead and share those books with you. Some did come from the end of August, September, and now we are towards the end of October. And then my last book haul will be probably at the very end of the year, like after Christmas time for my end of the year. Then when 2017 is here, which it's so crazy to think it's just a few months away, but I will consider doing monthly book hauls again or if how I'm going to do that, I'll let you know in the new year. But for now, I do have quite a few books to show you um, because I have purchased some, I have received some as gifts, and of course, I am subscribed to both Uppercase Subscription and Owlcrate now, so I am getting books from those. But the good news about me being subscribed subscribe to both is I have received two double books now. Those books are going to be used as a giveaway and I will talk about that at the end of the video as I talk about the respective books. So stay tuned for all of those details. Don't forget I am also doing my 1k celebration giveaway. Um, all you have to do is leave me a question and be subscribed to me and you are entered um, and that ends on October 31st so just literally like a couple of days away. So look out for the giveaway winner for that. Don't forget to enter if you haven't already. But now let's go ahead and jump into all of the books. I'm actually going to start with non-novels, um, like maybe some bookmarks and graphic novels and coloring books that I have received because I've gotten some pretty cool bookish stuff and I thought I would show you because I really liked it. So the first thing that I want to show you are these really super cool cassette bookmarks, cassette tape bookmarks. I got these as part of my uppercase subscription box. And in that unboxing video, which I will link for you, I have the link to where you can buy these off of Amazon. They come in a variety of colors from black, red, yellow, pink, and green and blue, I believe. And I'm just so happy I got the green ones because green is one of my favorite colors. So these are so cool. They're magnetic and they have these long ribbons that clip onto your book. So they actually look like the reels of the tape, but they're just little magnetic bookmarks that clip onto your page. And then it has this long brown ribbon. So I thought these were really super cool and unique. And I have really grown to love magnetic bookmarks. And these are just so cool. I also received this in my uppercase subscription box. It's just a journal, but I thought it was a really cool one because it's a writer's journal. But they've been turned all these famous writers, authors have been turned into punk rock stars and um, the front and the back look like this and then it is lined and then it has like the little you know illustrations and I just thought it was it's a good size and it seems to be made in good quality. I also received another journal from my secret sister and this is one that I really wanted. Um, it's the Miss Peregrine's Journal for Peculiar Children and looks like this and then it is aligned as well. Um, Chrome Club, I have talked about them on my blog before, but they are a monthly subscription to a coloring booklet. And this is the size of their booklet. It's pretty mini. They sent me their Halloween volume, volume seven. Um, I wasn't as impressed with this volume, if I'm being completely honest, because all of the Halloween pictures in here are kind of featured up here where they have all of the text. And then you have like floral, this is a web, but it's not really that exciting, but they have these cute ghosts up here and another like kind of um, mosaic, but all of the cute patterns in this coloring book were featured on the non coloring side. I mean, obviously you can color those page, but they have their logo and the little hashtags, like suggested hashtags, if you color it like mandala, symmetry, things like that. And I really liked the non coloring pages better than the actual coloring pages. Um, but yeah, it was just it was nice of them to send it to me nonetheless. I picked up volume six of Saga. Um, I have not read this yet, which is kind of shocking because I absolutely love this series. I'm not sure if this is the last one in the series. I kind of like heard a rumor that it was, but I'm not really sure. But regardless, I'm really excited about this one. 
two more coloring books that I have received. I got this one as a gift from my secret sister. It's the Grand Fairy Tales adult coloring book, different seasons. And I got it because, or I put it on my wish list because of the cover and I thought it was going to have like these type of pictures in there and with grims and stuff, but it has a lot of kind of like these kind of drawings. It's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. Also got this unsolicited from, let me look because I kept the little paper, Create Space, and they sent me their Flora and Fauna um, coloring book, and I actually adore the patterns and pictures in here. They're so fun. Of course, it's flora and fauna, so animals and like flowers and stuff. Oh, I love this deer one. Love that one. It has like this little mouse. Um, oh, this one's like really beachy. I also got a um, magazine in one of my Secret Sister boxes, and that is to Real Simple, which I haven't read a magazine in quite a while, but Real Simple is one of my absolute favorites. And the cool thing is, is that she got me a year subscription oh my god whoever you are thank you so much because now that I am working full-time I don't have as much time to dedicate to read all the time but I can take these to work and read these on my lunch break and I just I'm so excited because it has everything from like recipes fashion advice everything I just I love real simple and look how cool the Halloween cover is now let's go ahead and jump into the huge stack of books that I have. I want to go ahead and start. I went to Barnes & Noble today and I picked up two books because I had a 20% off coupon and of course I am a member so I got additional money off as well. Two books. The first one that I got is Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, I loved One True Loves by her and I loved the writing and the story both. It's probably going to be one of my favorite books of the year um, and so I definitely wanted to read more by her and I just really liked the sound of the synopsis and it's the only other one that they had in the store so I picked it up and I'm looking forward to it. And the next one that I got today was The Graces by Laura Eve and this is kind of like a witch's story but the cover is really beautiful. I've heard a lot of great things about it. So there's three graces and then there's one person, River, who isn't a grace but will do anything to become one. It's supposed to be enchanting and magical and a little bit witchy and disturbing so I'm really looking forward to it. And now into the huge stack of books that I've had practically forever. The first book that I will mention again is After the Woods by Kim Savage. I have a whole story time slash review for this on my channel which I will link for you but I have already read this book. I adored it. I gave it four stars and I think that you should pick it up if you're looking to check out any debuts because this was her 2016 debut and she has another book coming out in February of 2017 and I really enjoyed her writing and I'm interested to see how her writing progresses as a novelist opposed to a reporter journalist. And I've talked about this book several times on my channel before and that is Drama by Raina Taugemeyer. When I initially read this I got it on the Overdrive app from my local library and I picked this up at a thrift store for $1.50 and I've already read this book and I own it in paperback but I adored this book so much even though at times it was very hard to read but when I saw this at the thrift store um, I absolutely adored it and I saw it in hardcover and it was originally $30 and I think I got it for like a dollar and that is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara and I have talked about this and reviewed this on my channel already. Ready, so I will link that for you as well. But if you're looking for a really in-depth story about male friendship spanning several years, I highly recommend this series. There are a lot of trigger warnings. Now I own it in both paperback and hardback and no regrets. Also saw this at the thrift store and this is a new 2016 release. I believe, yeah, it came out in 2016 and I got it for 
a dollar or two if i was your girl by meredith ruscio and i heard this is about a trans character that moves to like a different town and nobody knows that she was so um, like i said i do have transgender friends in my real life and i read luna earlier this year and it was okay but it wasn't exactly what i was looking for so this is another transgender you know book and i want to support that received this book in my box that I unboxed for you guys from And the Story Begins and that is The Last Leaves Falling by Sarah Benwell and this is about a teenager struggling with ALS. I got The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron in my uppercase subscription box and I'm not really sure what it's about. I believe it's about everybody forgets stuff except for this one person and like memories are erased every so many years but this one person remembers and then of course people can kind of like make up their own stories in their own lives but this one person knows who's lying who's telling the truth and because they don't really forget anything so it sounds like a very interesting premise and I would like to get to it fairly soon I was super duper excited to receive this in my owl crate last month because I have been eyeing this for a very long time it is a fantasy book which I do not often read practically at all when I do I usually do not enjoy it but this book sounds so good it's about triplets that are fighting to be queen and that is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake and it just sounds really good. Three dark queens are born in a glen. Sweet little triplets will never be friends. Three dark sisters, all fair to be seen. Two to devour and one to be queen. So they have to have this like um, duel each other to see who will become queen and then obviously the other ones die. But um, I think something happens where two don't get the powers that they were supposed to get. And I've heard that you like all of the main the triplets in this story. I heard it takes a little bit to get into but then it really picks up from there so we'll see what I think. I also completely spoiled myself and got the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and Harry Potter series. They're releasing one every single year. I do have the other one on my shelf right here so this one will be right beside it um, but I'm really super excited to have this in my possession. I am trying not to look at the illustrations that people are posting. I did post a couple of pictures of this on my Instagram but every time someone hauls it in a video, they show more and more illustrations to me and I just don't want to see them. I want to experience them for myself, so I refuse to show you any pages. If you are interested in some of the pages, follow me at Lavender Mud on Instagram and you will see two different pictures from the book. One is P.S. I Like You by Casey West and the other is Avasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. Both of these I received in my uppercase subscription box as well as my Owlcrate box. So these are the books that are going to be in the giveaway. I'm only doing one. The winner can choose which book they want, P.S. I Like You or Avasa in the Night. Um, I do have my extra copies right here. My extra copies are right here. Um, so P.S. I Like You by Casey West. It will come with a signed book plate and I have not read this or anything. It is brand new. And then same thing with Vasa in the Night. It will come with the signed book plate and it has never been read or used. I literally just got this last week. So they have just been sitting here waiting for a giveaway. So in order to win the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to my channel and you have to let me know in the comments um, which one you would like to receive. And this is US only because I already have the books and I'm going to be shipping them. And as we all know, international shipping is absolutely crazy. So what I will do from the comment section is I will just do a random number gener generator, pick the number, count that comment down, and then that person, whatever book they wanted, whether Vasa in the Night or PSI Like You, um, I will send them that book. And one of you can win one of these books. Like I said, again, be subscribed to my channel. Let me know which book you want in the comment section. Let me think. I, since I have my 1K celebration going on until 
um, the 31st of October. I'm going to have this run until the end of November. So again, check the description box of this video for all the details. But again, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, let me know which book you want. And I'll let you know the official date that it's going to end in the description box. So just check for that. Finally, at my hands on The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. My secret sister sent this to me and my August package. A lot of people love this author. So I'm definitely wanting to give it a try. Um, but this is supposed to be like magical realism. And I don't often read that. So hoping that this is a good one. Let me know if you enjoyed it in the comment section down below. I haven't won a Goodreads giveaway in a while, but I won a book that I was really looking forward to um, because I haven't read anything by this author and I keep hearing amazing things. And this is Jodi Picoult's newest book. It came out on October 11th, Small Great Things. And the cover is so cool. I really like the design of the cover. Um, it's like Polaroid pictures, but they're in different colors and it just sounded really good. Ruth Jefferson, a labor and delivery nurse, begins a routine checkup on a newborn to only be told a few minutes later that she's been reassigned to another patient. The parents are white supremacists and don't want Ruth, who is African-American, to touch their child. The hospital complies, but the next day the baby goes into cardiac distress while Ruth is alone on the ward. Does she obey orders or does she intervene? So I think this sounds like a really interesting story and I can't wait to pick it up. It's another super chunky one though. <laughs> also received these two books from my secret sister and they've been on my wish list for a while. Um, I received The Secret Garden last round and it is one of those penguin, penguin thread editions and I just love it so much. It's so pretty. It has the French flaps and it just looks like it's been stitched. Um, but yeah, it's so beautiful. And it's another classic that I can add to my shelf. I don't often read classics, but if I'm going to, it has to be beautiful because that like motivates me to read it. I think we all know the story of Black Beauty, but now I have this beautiful addition to add to my shelf and I couldn't be happier. Sent me this, which I thought is such a cute book. Um, but I love the cover of it. It's called The Meaning of Maggie. It's a novel by Megan Jean Sovereign. And I heard about this years ago. I don't even know when this came out. Let me see. 2014. So only two years ago? That's crazy. Um, but it's about an 11 year old girl named Maggie Mayfield. And it says turning 11 means she's one year closer to college, one year closer to voting and one year closer to getting a tattoo. And then it says not that she wants a tattoo. They're terrifying. But it's nice to know she's getting closer to one anyway. So it's just all about this girl that's very like, living ahead of herself. And it just looks really fun. And so it's like middle grade, I'll let you know what I think about it. It's not very long. So I should be able to get through it pretty quickly. Last three books that I have, I got this from the bookcase club, I did not end up unboxing it. Um, on camera, which I was kind of happy about because one of the books was super damaged and I'm actually getting rid of it. It's like on the other side of the room. Um, but, and it, it wasn't something that I would have really been interested in anyway. Um, I was sent this box just randomly. So I was like really happy to receive it. So free books are always nice. Um, but this is called The Ice Twins by SK Traman. Traman? And it just sounded really good. Um, one of Sarah's daughters died, but can she be sure which one? Yes, this is about the two twins. And they think that one died, but then they're thinking, was that really the one that died? But it's a terrifying psych psychological thriller with a twisting plot worthy of Gillian Flynn, which... I hate when books are compared to other authors, but it does sound really good. So probably going to try to get to it soon since it's still Halloween-y and, you know, November and the Ice Twins. Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs. I was really looking forward to this one, but I didn't know how soon I would be able to get my hands on it. The cool thing about this is, is that I was part of the blog tour, like, for this book, and I posted some of my own peculiar photographs, which I thought was really cool, and it came out a lot better than I was expecting. And the, um, 
person at Penguin that, you know, helped with the blog tour and set it up and everything and I was kind of like in contact with completely surprised me and sent this to me and I was so happy, you guys. I was so happy to receive this. She wrote me a little note. It just says, Gwen, I loved your photo collection. It's so wonderful. Thanks for being part of the tour. Another, it's like a book from within a book and so obviously he made it a book but I am confused. There is this sticker on the back that has the printed information and I wonder if I'm supposed to leave it on or take it off. I don't know what to do. It's like I kind of want to take it off but I kind of want to leave it on. But anyway, the struggle. This book retails for $24.99. That's crazy. That is crazy right there. Last but not least, I have a book that I have been super duper interested in for the last few months and that is Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. Um, it's about a girl that um, was a cutter or is a cutter. I haven't read too much about this um, other than just like the brief, people's brief thoughts on it, um, but it deals with self-harm self-harm and I want to get to this really soon. I think it's like an important book and um, the cover is beautiful um, but it follows our main protagonist Charlotte Davis 17 and has gone through crappy stuff and is trying to like put herself back together um, but I heard it's heartbreaking. I heard it's an accurate portrayal and it's kind of scaring me to read it, but at the same time, I'm really looking forward to it. But that concludes my gigantic book haul that I, like my fall book haul, I guess we'll call it. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed. Um, again, I will um, link you to some of the videos that I have talked about. Um, I will have the information for the giveaway for Vasa in the Night or PSI Like You in the description box. Remember, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave me the comment which book you would like to win and that's really the only requirements um other than that that's all I really have for you today I have a crap ton of books to find a place for on my shelf so that's always fun I'm thinking I'm probably going to do a reorganization soon so maybe look out for that I really don't know but I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you next time bye